And then along came the Aerosmith program and cognitive intervention. And of course, when I first heard about cognitive intervention in the Aerosmith program, I thought it was hogwash. I thought it was witchcraft because as in the paradigm, the brain was fixed. I, I had told children that. I had told parents that. The brain was fixed. You'll have this for the rest of your life. Why did I eventually do this? Parents. Parents are always the initiators of change. You want something for your child. You want something maybe that works. You don't know if it will work, but nothing else is working. So let's give this one a try. And that's what the parents were saying to me when I was doing these educational assessments. They said, well, I've heard about Aerosmith program. Should I go to Toronto, fly from Vancouver, move my family, and go to Toronto? Number one parent did, number two parent did, number three parents. So three parents moved to Toronto to do Aerosmith. Three years later, I didn't hear anything about this anymore. They came back and they asked for updated assessments. And it was when that data was presented to me, when cognitive functioning changed in measures of memory, measures of reasoning, measures of visual motor integration, I was stunned. It was at that moment, I had an aha moment, said, never seen this before in my life. And this was point number one, two, three. All showed changes in cognitive functioning. I knew this was amazing, that if you can change the brain's ability to interact with its environment, to absorb information, to relate to its environment, you have a fundamental shift in ability and potential of that human.